Yeah, maybe I should maybe I should just go see if I can talk to Ruben. Yeah, alright. The earth speaking again. Can I get some, uh, loot? A bowl? Just out there? Out in the streets? What's going on with that? This one's normal size, though, unlike the one we saw in our quote-unquote dream. Am I going the right way? No, not really. <laughs> Look how detailed that eye is. Loy. Hey, Nokaren. Baykara, you're a good man. Buy my bowl. Why would I want a bowl? It's not just any bowl, it brings luck. When the time comes, it'll tell you what to do. Can I talk then? Anente, it is known. It will talk on the scariest day of your life, showing you the right way. Eh, Caralda. I'd rather not have it at all. Perhaps there won't be a scary day in my life then. <laughs> so you're selling a curse on four legs. Uh, great, I'll take it from you if you pay me. Take him for 200. It's a good bull. Bekara, it'll be useful to you. I don't even have a place to keep it. Pay me now and I'll bring it to your place later. There will come a day when you'll be grateful to me. You mean the scariest day of my life? Nah, not interested. Someone is selling a bull here, only 200 for a true, truly honestly talking pet deal of the year. And again, it's a good healthy bull. I kind of do want it just for curiosities, just for curiosity's sake, but I need a scalpel more, and also I just literally don't even have the money on me, so I can always come back later, right? Yeah, can always come back later. so many water bottles. Ooh. Oh. Bloody bandage. That's disgusting. This is a dead item. Someone created it by using a bandage. That's a weird way to describe it. What am I going to do with a bloody bandage? What is that? Broken ampule. Dead item, carcass of an ampule of morphine. Also an interesting description. Keep talking about these used, useless things as... as, uh, being a dead item. Raisins. Once a juicy grape, now a small sweet that wouldn't satisfy an infant. Chisel. Used to mark and sharpen tools, handy when fixing bladed weapons and simple machinery. This is some really good stuff. I'm glad I found it. Damn. Note to self, always go into little fenced-in areas. I see people running over there. I'm not going to go see why. Alright, almost to Rubens. Is this a pharmacy? Okay, let's see if I have the stuff to 
buy a scalpel now. How much is this stuff worth? Wow, a chisel's not worth much. Bloody bandage isn't worth much? You don't say. Um, okay, let's just... Yeah, it's like 975 for that. So if I just sold like... Oh, I got two charms. That's going to count for a lot. If I just sell like everything that I even potentially just want... This is useful, useful for fixing stuff. I probably don't want to get rid of it. This is kids love it. I don't want to get rid of that if I don't have to. Sell some grindstones. Blade bandage, sure. I'm close. I can do it. I'm really close. Also, keep in mind, though, that I'm about to starve, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, I've started a second stack of water bottles. Let's just get rid of them. Um, yeah, that's all I need. Okay, I'm fine with getting rid of that stuff. Now I got a freaking scalpel. Either a weapon that can take someone's life or an essential tool for a surgeon. A tool for a surgeon, a tool for a menku, a tool for a bandit, a tool for a ripper, a tool for me. So it looks like it's perfectly pristine, so there's no reason to like sharpen it, right? I wouldn't even know how to sharpen it, actually. Hmm. I should go do the surgery stuff as soon as possible. But I am right here. Hmm. I want to save it soon. Ruben's place it does have a save point. This place looks like it doesn't. Let's go to Ruben's place, just so I can at least save. This building. Oh, I love this music. Oh, hoppy little mouse. Saw so many of them when it was raining. Oh, there's a bunch here too. I said they're rarely home, so not counting on them being home, but I should be able to save regardless. Pick lock, they'll know. Well, I'll be damned. They are here. You enjoying the dramatic lighting? Oh wait, where's the safe point? Ah. Now I feel confident. Not a scrap to eat. What do you got going on in here, Reuben? Why do you have a skull in a cage? You worried it's gonna get out? Can you believe this place? They don't even have a hospital here. Oh, this isn't Reuben. This is The Bachelor. That explains why they're not behind the desk, but in front of it. Well, one thing is clear. You're a very, very lucky man. Which means you need to take care of yourself. You're so careless, Varrock. It's Artemy Varrock, right? Barak. Artemy Barak. Apologies. 
Oh, and may I ask, is it true that your actions have already resulted in four deaths? I'm not in the habit of spilling my guts to strangers, especially when they can't even remember my name. Daniel Denkovsky, Bachelor of Medicine. At your service. But before we speak any further, I'd like to clarify a rather crucial thing. Just how highly do you hold your sense of duty? Too highly, clearly, since it brought me back to this wretched town. Well, from this point on, you <clears throat> owe me. I just saved you from a rather grisly fate. I don't remember seeing a rescue team. Your Reuben has utterly murderous intents. Isidore meant quite a lot to him. Your father was his mentor. Reuben even considers himself old Barak's true son, unlike you. Anyway, he thinks you're to blame for your father's death. What a load of... I managed to convince him that you didn't actually kill Isidore. Well, not empirically. But I'm under the impression that, in Reuben's mind, you still caused your father's death. You did, after all, take your sweet time getting here, while Isidore was counting on your help. Is that true? No, it's not, and I sense some foul play in your valiant attempt to save me from my best friend. Look, you have my condolences, Varak. But since we've established that you owe me, let me explain how you'll repay your debt. Things are about to get a little tense, and I need only one thing. Just do exactly as I tell you. You're a doctor, right? We haven't established that I owe you anything, buddy. Qui habet aris audiat, as the saying goes? What? Uh, let me Google that. It's Latin. It means something like, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. I don't really know what that means in this context. For what we've been discussing. Ama tat. Konzohon, as goes the local one. Allow me to sum up. Reuben told me he's the only decent doctor in town, but you're a competent surgeon. I need you alive, healthy, and quiet. Close at hand. Spare me any wild improvisations. I'll be the one handling the situation. Medicum morbo adhi, adhi bere. Bere? Something like that. How about you just shut up? I'll deal with Reuben myself. No middleman required. Where is he? Gone to carry out my orders. From now on, your Reuben does what I tell him to do. He entered my service of his own accord. I suggest that you do the same. It will help everyone. Stubbornness is my guiding star, second only to my sense of duty. I suggest you put your high intelligence to good use and get out of my way, bachelor. Man, what a prick. They're under nerves. They're certainly getting on my nerves. <laughs> and that's going to be one of the other playable characters. Yeah, not surprisingly, not going to find Reuben. God, my hunger's extremely high. Holy shit, if I take one tick of damage, I might die. I am going to eat these raisins. Didn't do much, but it's something. I guess I'll eat the peanuts, too. God, that did almost nothing. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 not that. I think I... Whoa. Hi? Ace. So what? Is the asshole still in there? The one with the carpet bag? Yeah, he's in there. I hereby grant you every right to throw something at him if you so desire. But where's Dr. Reuben? We need a doctor. I'm a doctor. What's the issue? There's 
been a disaster. Alma, Duke, and Wolfling were poisoned. Where are they? In a warehouse with little flags. Go down the railroad and to the left. You'll see it. Um. Uh. I want to say lead the way, but I gotta... God, I got a lot of people to help. Um, alright, I'll check it out. Are they gonna lead the way? Did it get marked on the map? It did. It seems like the local urchins need assistance. Okay, I will get to them... ...in just a minute. Um, you're the man everybody... everybody's after, right? You look like the description. Oh, what's the description? You know, big, fat, dangerous, with bulgy eyes, a weird leg, a scary mug, and a stupid look on his face. Must be you. Thanks, kid. At least I know what I look like now. Really? Well, whatever. It's good we found you. We need help. Oh, y yeah, I just talked to your friend. <laughs> what for? Um... Oh, this isn't for the same thing. We need to hold a trial for a murderer, and we can't do it without you. Will you help? What? You've caught a murderer? Or was it the murderer? That's kind of hard to say. So, will you come? Well, if you're telling the truth, then I'm in luck. The courthouse is a warehouse. The one with the little flags. Hurry up, they're starting soon. The warehouse with the little flags? Oh, I remember. Seems like you kids took over our old place. So is that at the same place? Yeah. Poisoned. Judge. Alright, a lot to do there. I'm going the wrong way. Yes. Let's go work on Bad Griefs, people. I'm so close to dying of hunger. Jesus Christ. I'm hoping they're going to have food there, or at least they're going to pay me a handsome sum for saving their lives. You'd think they probably would. Please let me through and don't be a fucking fence. <sighs> What's the fastest way through? Probably to go back this way. I might have enough stuff to sell to get something paltry at a grocery store. Pharmacy. Pharmacy. There's a grocery store right next to the place I'm going. I'm looking at that hunger meter and I'm scared. Whoa. They're dead? Loot or autopsy, they'll know. Well, not this person if they're dead, right? What? Why are they dead? I don't know. I don't have time for this. Probably the local fuckers killed him. On their witch hunt. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna eat some more nuts. Chestnut. Such a paltry amount. It's just depressing. Fuck, I might need to trade my lockpick for a friggin' piece of toast. I'm not quite that desperate yet, am I? You know, I feel like I'm kind of that desperate, actually. Yeah, actually, I'm I'm that desperate. <sighs> not much, but I'm not just about to die. <laughs> See how fucking hard this game is? I knew it'd be just as hard as the original. Like, I'm about to starve to death while I have like one hit point, and it's the beginning of day two. <laughs> Almost there. It's 
try to trade with people. I've already been to this place, but they weren't here last time. Yeah, I've got the candle stub. Uh, I can get a Kashik. That would be great. And people here like me a tiny bit more. be interested in. Oh, that was a weird turn. Nah, just matches. Probably already checked these places. Uh, yeah, this is the building. <clears throat> hey! Y'all still alive in here? <laughs> you don't have a lockpick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I can open this because these drawer things only take needles. Ooh. That is cool. Got another needle for my trouble and a little bit of money. Hey. Uh, well, they're still alive. Shiner. And you are? A doctor from Bad Grief. Tell me what happened. One of ours got himself cut is what happened. A shiv stuck in his side. A lot of blood, see? At least he's breathing for now. Got water? No. Don't you forget to give him alcohol, or powders, anything. Gotta kill the pain first. A twitchy man, this one. He'll flop around like a fish. Powders? You have no idea how to perform an operation. But you got something to cut with? A damned thing stuck deep. Try to get it out with a knife, didn't work. Get those special knives. Scalpels? Yes, idiots, I do have a scalpel, and I'll shut up so I can work. No, we're doing, we were doing God's work. Who did away with old Barak? A shop knock, that's who, so we tracked the man-eater. Then all the step trash poured in, yelling that she's no shop knock. They took out shivs, ten of them on two. I've seen the stake lot fire. Was that your doing, too? Oh my god. We avenged Brock. Piecework himself grabbed her. Don't you glare at me like that. Come on, help the man. Can't you see he's about dead? Do what Bad Grief said. Some doctor he sent us. <laughs> hmm. Well, just uh, give me a second here. I'm just going to make a little note here. This is the sort of game where I want to take notes, so I just made a note. Bad people. Shiner and Peacework. Both are responsible for grabbing the woman and burning her at the stake. Bad grief's men. That's the note I just made. I'm a doctor. I'm going to help this person. I might deal with them later. Bad grief told me to search his stomach for anything he doesn't need. So that's what I'll look for. Oh yeah, what the fuck did that mean? Searching his stomach for anything he doesn't need, why? Uh, okay. What just changed? Badgroove's henchmen were looking for a shop knock by testing woman with fire. That's what piecework got his just desserts for. Wait, so are you piecework? The one I'm doing surgery on? Not sure. <clears throat> Hmm. I have morphine, but I can't give it to them. Just the scalpel. It's the only thing I can do. I can drain their blood. I probably shouldn't. Um. I have no idea how this works. I can cut places. I can cut here, or here, or here, or here. Chance to damage organ. High. 
Brain damage. With a scalpel. Hmm, probably not good. That's... I don't know, I guess that's like the heart area, that's like the stomach. Um, let's go with this one. Oh, that's a nasty sound. It's wet and squishy. Hmm. What is that? What did I just do? Liver. I just took out their liver. How is this helping them? I just took out their liver. I Okay. That's the one. <laughs> it's a lockpick. That's the shiv that was used? Or is that unrelated to what got them stabbed? Did I have to take out their liver? You didn't tell me what it was until I took it out. Now I can't put it back. Are they, um, are they just dead? Uh... What? What have you done? You monster! Well, I guess I sorta of unintentionally just took one of their body parts. Um... You know what, let's just roll with it. I'm assuming that was patchwork, so... I'm glad they died. I did what I was told. I cut out anything he didn't need. It was an accident, but let's just roll with it. Yeah. I was expecting it to just load my last save at Rubens, but now I'm at the theater. Why? All of today is just dress rehearsal. Is it my line now? Uh, oh yes, you're right. Here I go. Go back, my friend. The door is over there. How did I get here? Oh, no, no. Wrong line. Let's try again. I was dead. So I wasn't completely dead. As a director of our theater, I will now inform you of the most important pillar of your role. Silence in the audience. So with each death of a new actor, we will all face irreversible consequences. Got it? Irreversible. Such as... Any actor who continues Barak's path in place of the previous Barak will have it harder than their predecessor. Such is the theater of cruelty. Each death makes the role harder. You'll become burdened with the consequences of your predecessor's deaths, their negligence. What sort of consequences? Unpleasant and painful. You won't be able to make a step without a drink of water. How's that? What about being unable to touch a close one? Or growing as weak as a five-year-old child? Your life force has already dwindled, and it will keep dwindling with each consequent death. Each and every one of them. This is absurd. I warned you. Each new attempt will be harder. When one actor dies, the next finds themselves even closer to the abyss. Try to finish this piece in one go. You personally, so that no one has to replace you. Have pity on your successor. I'll touch clocks more often from now on. Forewarned, forearmed. Didn't I make it clear enough that clocks won't help you? A clock is just a point from which a successor begins, but they still carry their predecessor's mistakes. Else we'd never solve this riddle. What riddle? I'll explain it to your successors, if you fail. Clearly those will be beyond help anyway, those third-rate phonies. So I'll have to spell everything out to them. Wonderful. You're a dangerous man, Mark Immortel. Is that a last name or a nickname, by the way? And then they smile. So, I just made the game harder for myself and loading a save game will do nothing. Understood. Dying has consequences. Serious consequences. Hmm. 
It looks like my max health is lower. Do you see that tiny little orange bit? So that seems to be my consequence right now. That's not too bad. That's pretty minor right now. But yes, I really don't want to die. It seriously matters. Damn. That's a pretty big change from the original. I don't... I think you could just free save or free load anytime you wanted with no consequences. Well, let's go back and be a better surgeon. Is this from before the conversation? Well, I'll do all this off camera and get back there. Hmm. I just found somebody who has a tourniquet for three and I can give him a water bottle. I have so many of those, please. Thank God, I can get a little bit of hit points back. Emphasis on little. Ooh, let's try out the pemmican. Now I've got the candle stub, that's worth five. One match is worth one. I can get pemmican. This is extremely filling. That's considered extremely filling. Okay, sure. <laughs> Entering the place where we need to perform the surgery once again. This time I did not sell my lockpick. Oh, there's blood leading to the room, I just realized. It's a nice little detail. Um, yeah, I haven't used a lockpick, so I... Oh, oh. Well, I was going to use it on this thing, but... They'll know. I guess we shouldn't. Is there anything else to loot in here? No, but we get to loot this again. Hmm, it seems to be randomly generated, sort of. Because now there's, yeah, different loot and there's two different things to unlock. Bit of money. Broken scissors, okay, it's decent. Let's do this, hopefully better. Also, I have slightly, slightly more health this time. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Hey, I can hear him breathing now. All normal. What is this splinter? You're clearly not from around here. This is a local tradition. We don't keep knives. They might call it cutlery, but it sure ain't for cutting. Godless beasts who fear neither life nor death make these disposables. You jab once, then it breaks. All about observing the custom. Nasty. The custom has nothing to do with breaking shivs, asshole. It's about not cutting bodies at all. Can I do surgery again? Yeah, I could just go cutting all their organs out if I want. What would I do with the organs? I'm sure somebody would want to buy them. Anyway, um... So with that done, can I, like, go back to Bad Grief? Maybe they have a reward for me or something? Or I, I think I did this as repayment for what they did for me, so they probably won't give me anything more. But I'm sure they'll be happy with me. Bad Grief's henchmen were looking for a shop knock by testing women with fire. That's what piecework got his just desserts for. <clears throat> yeah, I want to just kill him, but I don't know. I'll go talk to Bad Grief. Maybe they will be just as displeased about what these jackasses got up to as I am. I'm a man of my word. The surgery is done. The shiv is out. Yep, so that's marked now. Leads to a couple unknown things, but I'm guessing I got to go back and talk to Bad Grief. It's cool how these things like link up, right? All these connections. Like, let's see where this goes. It starts from, could father have been killed by the same thing that made him summon me so urgently? To father's dead? To they wouldn't suspect me of patricide, would they? To they killed me, they did suspect me of patricide. To bad grief saved me. To, uh... Something else about bad grief, and then bad grief wanted me to help them, and then, yeah, just, it's all connected. 
Ooh, money. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, I can't unpick that. Unpick that? What? I can't pick it. Need more needles. Oh, Jesus. Can I help you? Look round, Barack, at this abandoned house. What about it? Have you secured all you need to survive? I've got nothing I need, neither food nor water nor clothes. I hardly urge that you mimic those two, but times are dire and what you need you may find lurking in empty houses such as these. And if the owners should return abruptly, you were neither first nor last criminal here. You mean to say I could pin the blame on those two, right? Exactly. Tis your life at stake, and things are merely things that you might then repay. You are indeed a doctor here, Barack. Fair enough. If I'm desperate, I can find all I need in someone's house. The rest is about picking the lock and shutting up my conscience. Uh, yeah, I might have to turn to that soon. Let's see what's upstairs. Hmm. When it says they'll know, it means whoever owns this house, right? Not like bad grief's gonna suddenly kill me. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I think I kinda need to pick a lock. What is this? Um... How does this work? Oh, you have to... Yeah, there's like some momentum and... Oh, I just... It just ruins my uh, reputation in this place. Well, it's not good, but as long as they don't have their fists raised, it's okay. Um, yeah, so you got the left and right thing and like, if you click the left mouse button, it moves that thing kind of into place and then it slowly resets back to its original position. So you gotta like, click the left mouse button a certain number of times to get in the right area and then kind of juggle with clicking the right mouse button at the same time, so that they're both in the red area at the same time. Please have good, please have good revolver ammo. Hope it's worth a lot. So many locked things, damn, I need pins bad. Oh, I have a, Oh, lockpicks. <laughs> the lockpick I got out of their stomach is bloody. Of course it is. Um, lockpicks have durability, so I can reuse them. It's not like one time. Needle, nice. <laughs> Empty. <clears throat> it clearly got inside Peaceworks gut unnaturally. I doubt anyone would want to trade for this thing, but I can use it. Hmm, yeah, I should probably use the bloody one, huh? It looks slightly darker than the other one. Oh, but I can't... It is going to hurt my reputation significantly. Like, just by doing that once, I'm now unwelcome here. I don't want to do that too much. I'll do it one more time. I'm pretty freaking desperate. Yeah, I'm still unwelcome here. As long as they don't hate me, I'm okay. Oh, it's a child's room. Please tell me the child is hiding away some snacks. Trying to reveal places and events hidden from naked eyes. That could be useful. Oh, pemmican. Yes, that's really good. I'm going to eat that right now. I'm <laughs> just barely keeping my hunger at bay. Jesus Christ. What time is it? 7 a.m. on day two. 
Okay. Did they just lock the door behind me? They did. No one's gonna try to punch me, right? I should go back to Ruben's place to save it. And yeah, I have a lot of things to trade now, or maybe even sell. So I should probably stop at like a grocery store or something. There's one back there. Do I- how much do I need to eat right now? I mean, kinda bad. Yeah, I do need to eat, actually. Let's go to this one, right next to the place where I just healed up those bandits. Bandits? Is that a good description? I don't know. Th oh. Wait, no, no, no. I think that's not because people here want to kill me, but because it's not uh, another one of those very weird people. What? Oh, hey, that made people here like me more, actually. Well, that's good. Um. Yeah, when they were saying three hits and that's enough, they weren't joking. Literally three hits makes them stop hitting you and surrender. Four hits kills them. <laughs> But people here like that I killed them? Because, yeah, this isn't some random citizen. It seems to be, like, a thug or something? Damn, another lockpick. I wonder how much I can sell this for. I probably can only sell them at Bad Grease Place, though. I don't think a normal store would want to take something like that. Could also use it as a weapon. Don't really want to. Autopsy. They'll know. Um... N no. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I remember in the original Pathologic, there would be thugs that would come out at night as well. Hey, they're sitting on this little seesaw. What's up? Trust too low to trade. Oh, shit. Day two, in which the Haruspex's roots are unearthed. Shit, a bunch of things just happened. <clears throat> Boas Vlad took an interest in me. He might know something useful. Um. Oh shit, most, thing most things disappeared. Even like, go to the workshop place? Uh, or not workshop, go to the warehouses and help the kids out? Shit. Oh, I really wanted to do those things. Um, we started Act 2. Hmm, I didn't realize I had such a little time to do these things. Yeah, the bowl's gone, all that stuff. I mean, I don't have time to do it all, but I wanted to do the kids' stuff. Shit. I think I want to load my game. Yeah. Probably the bad grief person is going to die. At the same time, everything else ended and we went into Act 2. Yeah, okay, so I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and in the next episode, I'm going to continue from the save point before I did the whole scalpel thing. Um, yeah, it feels bad to undo all that stuff I just did, but I really want to do this stuff over here. Like, I still need to drink to Father's memory and these two other things. Um, oh, no, no, actually not these things. I need to go outside of Ruben's apartment before I can talk to the kids and start those two little quests. But I want to do that stuff. The bull thing. Um, I guess I'm just going to miss the performance at the theater. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do all that within a couple hours and then see if I also have enough time to run and do the scalpel thing. <laughs>